This is gonna be great. What is up guys? It is Fantastic Films here today. I'm with Jackson, of course. Jackson, yeah, it's almost like we made a video about like a year ago, I think. That's last video or something like that. It's been oh, a yeah. really long time, you know. It wasn't a week ago today or anything. <laughs> what? I feel like this is back in your old Ryan Sutton days where li literally you uploaded like 18 yeah. videos in a row of just us two. Yeah. Don't don't watch those. If you haven't seen those. You're you blessed. Don't need to. You're blessed. Don't watch them. They're terrible. So we are going to see the movie Predator tonight, or the Predator, the uh, Shane Black uh, reboot remake. I don't really know what it is. It's a sequel, but uh, it's not supposed to be that good. But I'm still excited to see it. I love the first Predator. The second one, I kind of got mixed feelings on, but overall, it's not like great. Haven't seen the third one yet. I recently just picked up a triple feature pack that I'll be showing off in a uh, Blu-ray pickups video, but. Um, yeah, I picked up a triple feature pack of the first three, and I really like the first, I uh, love the first one. The second one's okay, I haven't seen Predators, the third one yet, but I'm hoping it's good, and I'm hoping this one is good. So, uh, are you excited, man? I'm fairly excited. I don't really know the premise of these Predator movies. So, like, I'm gonna be going into it totally blind, totally yeah. confused, but... Well, we'll watch, be... we'll watch the trailer before we watch the movie. Alright. Because be... it's good. I'll explain it a little bit. It's, it's good. But right now, we are currently pulling into the, uh... The Dunkin' the Donuts? Dunkin' Donuts. Wait, 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 wait. Our wait. area. Dunkin' Donuts? Dude! Dude. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, we just got out of Dunks. We, uh... Got some donuts here and some some coffees right there. Talking a Boston accent, but uh, yeah, she gave me this donut for free, which was pretty cool. She's a legend. She is the lady in this particular Dunkin' Donuts. She is. She's given us free stuff before. Free. You remember that time, like free donuts? She's, she gave us like five or yeah, six of them. Like. She's legendary. <laughs> Alright guys, we are at Speedway, getting gas. How's it going, Jax? Going good, bro. Going good? The gas is filling. I'm chilling. Like a villain. And he Heck ain't yeah. spilling. Oh. The gas. Oh. Cause I'm so fast. Gotta get to class. And you ain't got a hall pass. Hey! Alright guys, we are at Shaw's. We're just killing time. It's like 6.44 and we gotta see the movie at 6.30 or 7.30. My bad. So, I know, I'm slipping. That's why my, I, got, I got my coffee. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna walk around Shaw's a little bit and uh, I don't know, just, just walk around. Ooh, I'll explain the plot of the uh, Predator movies. Oh yeah. You. Well, we're in Shaw's. So you get all... Uh, all excited, you know, and caught up with the series. Jackson, so I'm just gonna Stop kind spinning. of. Spinning. <laughs> it's like. So, anyway, uh, the plot of the first Predator is essentially. Uh, you know Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Yeah. So, it's him and, like, this group of, like, insanely macho manly men. And they're out in this jungle, like Central Africa, Central American jungle. And uh, there's like, the army wants them to, like the military wants them to go in there. And they think they're doing like a, uh, like a drug bust or something. Like there's these, uh, they just want them to go in there and like, uh, you know, kill some dudes who are like, uh, like drug dealers or something like that. So, but really there's like this, this predator, like this alien thing. And um, it can like cloak itself, like to be invisible. like. It's insane, like it's this big monster, you know? And and the big line that every Predator fan should know, the like biggest line at the end of the first term or um Predator is uh, when the Predator takes off its mask, Arnold goes, like, you're one ugly mother. You know. 
and that's like yeah. the big line. Like in every turn or every pre- I keep calling it term. Every predator movie, they always have a, a little thing to like you want ugly brother, you know. Like it's it's in every predator, so they'll probably have it in this. And you got to be ready for it because that's like the that's the big part of the line, you know. All right, guys, we are approaching AMC. This actually looks sick in the lighting. Look at that dude. Oh yeah, that looks super cool. So yeah, we're approaching AMC and we're gonna go inside and see Predator. I am so excited. The Predator. Bro. Sorry, the Predator. Yeah, I have right, messed bro. up the name too many times. All right, guys. So we are in the theater alone again. Look at this. Alone. So uh, of course we gotta do something. You know, I gotta do something. So I'm going to be uh, falling or jumping off of this. So. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got out of seeing The Predator, and it, I don't know, it definitely wasn't great, but it was everything that I really wanted in a Predator movie. I mean, I don't know, the original Predator was something very special. I didn't love it the first time I saw it, but then rewatching it, I absolutely loved it. It went beyond just being a great action movie to something quite different and then the other prequels that followed uh kind of are like the sequels they kind of like followed the uh not so great but just like fun i guess and this is exactly what it was it wasn't great it was just fun there was definitely dumb moments <laughs> there were very stupid moments very stupid like there but... was one shot like near the end well multiple shots where it like dissolved <laughs> into the next scene and that yeah. was not the way to go yeah definitely it was a uh, very interesting experience um we'll tell you more in the car so yeah, the movie overall wasn't great, but it was good. Like I said, it was kind of everything I really wanted in a Predator movie. Um, I don't know. There was some laughably dumb moments, but also some really sweet kills and some... Like, the action was pretty cool, and uh, the Predator effects were really cool. There was a couple CG shots, like... Some oh, green, man. There some was green so, screen. There was that very was, bad green screen oof. work at the end. If you see the movie, or if you've seen the movie... You'll see it, you'll or you'll know yeah. about it, and it, it was kind of awful. But overall, I'd still recommend it. I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as uh, critics and other people are saying. You know, it's got like, a, uh, on the app I use Letterbox. it's got like a two and a half out of five average, and I don't know, I mean, if you're going into a Predator movie expecting the next Schindler's List, obviously it's going to be like a two-star movie, because... It's just not like a great quality movie, but that's not really its goal. Its goal is to entertain, and I was entertained. I was entertained, but probably not for the reason that the Predator is, like, wanting. So, for yeah. m- my personal review, since I don't have, like, a letterbox or whatever, I'm giving it three and a quarter stars. It's pretty solid. I would actually give it four stars. I, I don't know. It was funny, and a lot of people complained about the humor in the movie, and... It's funny because I actually didn't mind the humor, but for the most part, like in the MCU, I'm one of the people who borders on not liking the humor, like in Infinity War. I liked everything about that movie except how much humor there was. So it's weird because for my, I guess for my superhero movies, I like them to be fun, but I also like, because movies like The Dark Knight showed that superhero movies don't have to just be like fun, lighthearted adventures. Like they can be that, but they can also be really dark and serious and the same goes for a Predator movie, but at the same time, the original Predator is it's great, but it's got some very cheesy moments in it. So overall, like I said, I'm going to give it four stars, uh, probably like a B minus or maybe a B. I'd give it a B. B is solid B is what I would give it. It's like a B movie. Um, it's just like a dumb, fun action movie that you can enjoy with your friends. Definitely a great guy movie, you know? So yeah, it's a bro movie. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Jackson, thanks for being in the video, man. Uh, thanks for having me. We're going to do this handshake again. This right, awkward cool. handshake. There we go. But, uh, yeah, definitely check out Jackson's Instagram. It's uh, at Jackson Scour. Yeah, I'll put that on the screen. And uh, definitely check me out on Letterbox at Ryan underscore Sutton. And I'll leave that and all my other links to my different social medias, like my Instagram and my Twitter and my... In the description, if you had any comments on this video, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, If you liked it, give it a like. Let me know if you've seen The Predator, and if so, what were your thoughts?
Again, thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. That way I can see you guys soon. Peace.